Bez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to take you through how you can close the loan you've taken out on Anchor and all the steps associated with that. Now, if you've just seen this tutorial, before this I have actually done another tutorial around the Anchor protocol where I show you how to use it as a savings account. Then I also show you how you can take the Luna token and uh, lock it up and take a loan out via the Anchor protocol. I explain in great detail all of that. The one aspect I did not cover is paying out the loan. So paying down the debt that you've borrowed and um, closing everything up so that you know no collateral is at risk in any way shape or form so that's what i'm going to do today and it should be a much shorter quicker video but before i dive into that and repay the debt i want to show you some cool things that have happened since making that video um, some of the rewards you've earned so uh, just in the past i it was this very wallet where i took out a loan and you can see it here because I borrowed $60.39. It would have been interest has been added since then. I put um, a certain amount of money in savings. Obviously not the entire amount. I like to leave a little bit because anything you do on this protocol, you pay fees and that fees is UST. And uh, the other aspect of it was in the govern section, I made mention that, you know, when you borrow uh, via, via bonding the Luna asset and then locking it up, you start earning the protocol's governance token. And you can see over here I have earned, um, since making that recording, because I've only got a tiny bit locked up, I've earned some a ANC. So I can claim that. I'll claim that a bit later. But you just simply click that and you claim it and then you have the option of uh, you can trade it or you can stake it and earn further ba um, uh, APR based on what's the going rate for governance and staking the, on the protocol. But coming back to uh, the other aspect that I wanted to show, which was cool as well. So in the last video, I, I mentioned that you have the option once you bond your Luna to use it as collateral or just leave it. And if you just left it, you still earn some fees. So you can see here, I bonded, I think 90 and only used 80 of the bonded Luna as collateral. The stuff I had left in my wallet has slowly been generating uh, fees on the other side of things as well. So that's interesting. Make sure you're aware of that. Remember, you don't earn fees in this section if you're using your B -lo uh, Luna as bonded Luna as collateral to take out a loan. It is only for the bonded Luna that is sitting in your account, uh, in your wallet, and not doing anything. You would start to accumulate these fees. So. Coming back to the borrow, remember the point of the video is paying down the loan. So here we are, and it's so simple. You just have to make sure you have the right amount of funds in there. At the moment, you can actually see I don't. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna withdraw my money from the savings. So click on max, you can see 25% fee. I'll put in my password. Excellent, done. So I've managed to get whatever I can back out and now I'll go over to the borrow tab and you can see click the repay button and just again looking down here you can see uh, what I've provided that's what I was talking about earlier current price and this below is my liquidation price anyway don't need to worry about that I'm repaying the loan right now so click on repay and you can see the max amount it already has it there. It slides slides it down to zero. Uh, you can see the fees a little bit higher. Anyway, I know that. Again, put in your password. Okay, so it has now come through. I've paid down the debt. The last step is you have still provided the B Luna as collateral. So we need to remove that. Okay, because remember, at the moment, if I wasn't planning on taking a loan but still holding my Luna, if I have it in this spot as collateral, I'm not gaining those other fees I mentioned earlier. So um, let's let's do that. Let's do the final step. You've paid down your debt. The last thing you want to do is withdraw the collateral. This is not withdrawing it to another wallet or anything like that. It is withdrawing it from the protocol in back into your wallet. So I want to remove the max. Yeah, it's interesting. I actually intentionally played with that. See, in this, when you were drawing, even though it has this in the UI, it, it's irrelevant. So, and let's click on withdraw. 
and it's done so that's it so you have now withdrawn paid down your debt you've taken out your collateral what you will notice is right away you actually have it in your wallet now this is what's cool it's still bonded Luna right it should be there yep uh, it's still bonded Luna so the next step is if you want to convert it into Luna then you would go into the bond screen and burn and you can see here and there's a process it can take up to it will take up to 21 days but the other part of it is you can uh, if uh, there are a few things you can do here like if you have another wallet where you want to put up more collateral to lower that risk ratio liquidation risk ratio you could just send it in this shape to the new wallet and do that so up to each user in this case i want to keep it here i just wanted to pay down the loan and take it, the collateral out and that's what we've done once again thanks for watching i hope this video was insightful and uh, helped create a bit more uh, comprehensive picture around what you need to do to take out a loan and pay down the loan on the anchor protocol thanks for watching give us a like subscribe if you're finding the content useful appreciate all the support take care